Hi, and welcome back to Scratch. Today we're going to make a cabbage soup. If you want to support this channel, please like and share this recipe, and remember to subscribe. For this, we're going to need six cups of chicken stock, three to four potatoes, a cup of diced ham, a quarter cup of flour, a half head of cabbage, a quarter cup of butter, a half a diced onion, about a tablespoon of minced garlic, a quarter teaspoon salt, and a half teaspoon each of caraway seeds and black pepper. First, we're going to set our stove top to medium high heat. Then we'll melt our quarter cup of butter. For those of you that don't know, a quarter cup is about a half stick. Once the butter is melted, we'll go ahead and add our diced onion. I actually had some leftover diced onion in the fridge. And our tablespoon of garlic. And we'll cook this until it's fragrant and the onions are slightly translucent. After cooking the onions and garlic for a couple of minutes, you'll want to add a heaping quarter cup of flour and stir this into the butter in a figure eight pattern until you have a blonde roux. You'll know when the roux is ready when it starts to expand a little bit and reliquify around the edges. At this point, we'll add our six cups of chicken broth and stir until our roux mixture breaks apart and becomes uniform. Then, we'll add our quarter teaspoon salt and a half teaspoon black pepper and caraway seed. Once the soup base is mostly clump free, we'll go ahead and peel our potatoes. Next, we'll dice our potatoes. The smaller you dice the potatoes, the quicker they'll cook through. So I'm aiming for about a quarter to a half an inch. Once diced, add them to the soup. Next, we'll go ahead and add our ham. You can use about a cup or as much or as little as you'd like. This is another great recipe to use up leftover ham. We'll stir that in and move back over to our cutting board to get our cabbage. Then we'll go ahead and chop and add our cabbage. Now because I'm only going to use a half head of cabbage, rather than slicing the whole thing, I'm going to rip off the leaf. This is because it allows the leftover leaves to remain attached to the core and prevents your, your leftover cabbage from going bad as quickly. Once I've separated the leaves of about a half a head of cabbage, I'll go ahead and coarsely chop these. Once chopped, we'll add our cabbage to the soup. This will seem like a lot at first, however the cabbage will wilt as it cooks. After stirring the cabbage in, we'll reduce the stovetop temperature to medium low heat and allow the soup to simmer for an hour to an hour and a half until the potatoes are cooked through. The soup has been simmering for about an hour, so we're gonna find one of our larger potato chunks, and we're gonna test it for doneness. Mm. That potato's soft, and the soup is done, but it's at this point that we can now adjust it for seasoning. I like a little more black pepper in mine. Since it's done, we're gonna remove the soup from the heat and serve. 